Chef Jeff's tuba. <laughs> Just a little more practice. I didn't think anyone else was here. See, Princess Plug, Chef Jeff didn't mean to wake you. It was an accident. Please unstick his tuba. Me? Sorry, me. Oh, thank you. Ah, too loud! Chef Jeff, it's so late. Everyone needs to sleep. It's so noisy. What do we do? Chef Jeff? A bad note. Now I need to practice more. <gasps> I know you want to practice, but what if you could do it without making any noise? Then I could practice all night. My performance would be perfect. But how? Bosley, what do you have that can muffle the tuba and make it quiet? Hmm. Oh, ah, basketballs! Spazacular! Pass it here, Bosley. My left! Score! Try playing now, Chef Jeff. Perfection! Thank you, Abby. Now, I'd better get back to practicing. Now we can all go back to bed. Abby meets Mo and Bo. Go, Mo, go! <gasps> cool! Let's see how fast we can fill up these boxes with stuff for our fort. Oh, yeah, okay. Whoa, a lampshade. Bosley can always use a new hat. Huh? <gasps> I think the boxes are full, Bosley. Up. Uh. To the fort! More fort stuff. Let's go get the other boxes, Bosley. <laughs> no, no. Don't bounce on Bo. Time for Bo to go! Bo? Where'd Bo go? The Fuzzly Spotter! There's trouble at our play fort. <gasps> Hi, friend. I'm Abby. Want some Fuzzly treats? Wow, look at what you can do. That's spectacular. Help Mo find Bo? Mo find Bo? Twin Bo. I don't get it. You have a twin Fuzzly and you want to find him. Zoomer view specs, activate. Fuzzly tracks. They go right to the salon. <gasps> Mrs. Melvin, have you seen a Fuzzly that looks like her? Sorry, Abby, I haven't. You're all done. See you next time. We'll find him. The bike! Ma'am, excuse me. Oh! Mo? <laughs> Mo! I got this, Mo. Oh! Mo! Pogo Spring Shoes! Activate! Yahoo! Gotcha, Bo. Chef Jeff and Curly. Hi, Chef Jeff. So sorry, no time for hellos. I've got a dinner party to prepare. I still have to mash the potatoes and frost the cake. Ugh, I'll never have enough time. Curly, help. Curly, mash. <laughs> I can't be distracted by flying potatoes. Curly, please go with Abby and Bosley. Curly, go? Yeah, it'll be fun. Come on, Curly. Okay. Chef Jeff's can't resist cake. Mashed potato! Curly, help! <laughs> 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 And no! 
Ow, Curly squeezing my frosting bag so I can't frost the cake. <gasps> Rainsford! Curly's not squeezing the frosting. Curly, help! <laughs> Ta-da! That's magnificent, Curly. And you weren't squishing the potatoes either. You were mashing them. Curly, mash! Can you finish them up? It'd be a huge help. Curly, help! Curly, mash! Turns out, Curly's a splazacular kitchen helper. Thanks to you, Curly, I think we can make this dinner party a super success. Yay! Hooray! 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 Abby, save sprinkles. Chef Jeff, something smells great. Indeed it does. I have fresh-smelling pink lemonade. Uh, what's that? <laughs> it's terrible. Where's the smell coming from? Bosley, find out. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Big smell here! Hi! Say hi, Sprinkles! Hi! My dear assistant chef, I think we need to put Sprinkles somewhere else. No! Sprinkles, stay! <laughs> Sprinkles hug, too! Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> if we made Sprinkles smell beautiful, could she stay? If she smelled beautiful? Of course! How sprinkles smell beautiful, Abby? I don't know, but I do know we have two experts on what's beautiful right here in this hotel. Come on, Bosley and Curly, to the salon! We are experts in all things beautiful. Like perfume. Watch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sprinkles no good? She just kind of still smells like feet. <laughs> Hmm. When my socks are dirty, my mom washes them and makes them smell great. I bet that'll really get rid of the smell. To the bath! <laughs> Okie dokie, Curly. Bath time for sprinkles. Sprinkles! Splash! <laughs> Can it be? The 
rice is steaming, Hurley's got the veggies. Let's tell everyone dinner's almost ready. Yay, 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 yay! Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is... the Fuzzly Spotter. Uh-oh. Hurley's in trouble in the kitchen. <gasps> the dinner! to the Hatcher Palace Hotel, Abby. Ta-da! <coughs> we know, know you'll love, love living, living here. here. <coughs> I hope so. Hey, remember this? My old blankie. <sighs> Soft and snuggly like a fuzzly. <gasps> Do you think there are any fuzzlies here? <coughs> huh? Your dad and I need to get the hotel ready for guests. Why don't you explore? Maybe you'll find a fuzzly friend. Friend? This is my room? Cool. <gasps> fuzzly cookies! You're the best, Mom. <gasps> I heard that! There is a fuzzly here! <gasps> you like cookies? <laughs> Hi! Hey, wait! Are you a fuzzly? Maybe. Would you like another cookie? <laughs> My name is Abby Hatcher. Do you have a name? Meet Bosley. Nice to meet you, Bosley. Can I tell you a secret? 
<laughs> I've wanted a fuzzly best friend my whole life. But I've never actually talked to one before. I'm kind of nervous. Me nervous, too. You know what always makes me feel better when I'm afraid of something new? It's my blanket. I've had it since I was a baby. Would you like to have it? <gasps> Yeehaw! <laughs> gotcha. Cut me! Will you be my friend? Best friend! You just sit right here. Now let's see. Owie! Aha! An owie leg. I have just the thing. A little snap-on cast. There. The fuzzly spotter! Spotted! There's trouble in the salon with Harriet! Fuzzly trouble can't delay! To the rescue, save the day! Owie! You should stay off your leg if you're hurt, but Abby needs sidekick to help! Abby needs a sidekick to help? Hmm. You need to stay off that leg. Abby! Did I hear you need a sidekick? Wow! I can barely tell you two apart! Wow! <laughs> it's like looking in the mirror. Why Melvin dressed like Bosley? So I can be Abby's sidekick. You do need one today, right? Actually, since Bosley's hurt, I do need a sidekick. Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, Melvin! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Harriet! Bomber blimp jacket, activate! Abby! I knew you would come. I just have to get you over to Melvin's cushion. Uh. Perfect, Melvin. Right there. Ready, Harriet? Uh-huh. Good save. 
YouTube in place. Great job. <laughs> Ta-da! Elvin really can help. Oh, Abby and Bosley help too. Sure will. Let's get to work. Elvin loves his kitty castle so much. I'm glad he helped me build it. I got to spend more time with my very best friend. <laughs> Happy Hearts and Hugs Day, everyone! <sighs> Check out what I got for later. A Hearts and Hugs Day disco ball! Whoa! Whoa! Okay, who wants to share Hearts and Hugs Day wishes first? Hearts and Hugs Day is finally here, so we'll hold our loved ones here. Special day! <laughs> Song, you tried singing like the peepers. Happy Hearts and Big Hugs Day! <laughs> All your ideas have come from other Fuzzlies. But Hearts and Hugs Day is about what's in your heart. My heart? Yeah. What is in your heart? Hmm. Elevator? Buttons? Friends? And love! Ding, ding! Otis has idea! Come, right behind you, to the elevator! Here we go! Yeah! 
Did you see that? It was a monster! <laughs> Fuzzlies, you don't have to hide from the monster. Me, hide me. Me too. Whoa! Monster scary! We don't know that monsters are scary. He ate one of our cookies. He ate a cookie? He is a monster. Rainsford! We'll make a trail of cookies for the monster to follow. More cookies? Ooh, I could use some milk. Okay, now's our chance. Hi there, monster. Wait. I've heard that noise before. Hmm. <gasps> Rainsford! It's my dad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we thought you were a monster. <laughs> I look pretty monstrous. Go back to your slumber party and I'll get cleaned up. <laughs> okay. Sleepover time. You can have my bed and we'll take the air mattress. Thanks. Nighty night, Melvin. <laughs> <sighs> How can anybody sleep through that, Bosley? I think we're going to need a new plan. I hope the salon chair is comfy. Nighty night, Abby. Uh, nighty night. I just wish I had some place to sleep. Come here, Fuzzlies, big and small. Having needs as for an adult. She can't sleep when she's so sad. Needs our help, she feels so bad. Poor Abby. She tried sleeping near my snug, but it didn't work. There's got to be a way we can help. Hmm. <gasps> We can make Abby her own snug. Come on. Surprise! <gasps> you made me my very own snug? Sure did. You, you Abby. Yep. You. Uh -huh. you Fuzzlies are the best friends ever. <laughs> Thanks, Grumbles. <sighs> Wait, don't go. I know I couldn't sleep in any of your snugs, but I'd love a sleepover in mine. Will you stay? <laughs> Good night, Fuzzlies. Good, Good night, Abby. Happy Chinese New Year! Uh-oh. <laughs> you made meatballs! Waipo loves your meatballs. Meatballs for Grandma! It'd be so great if she could spend Chinese New Year with us. Waipo is joining us for Chinese New Year. She's on a plane and she'll be here by sundown. Huh? What? <gasps> that is spectacular! You know what this means, Bosley? Um, big hugs from Grandma? Yes. And it means we get to make the perfect Chinese New Year celebration for her. Come on! <gasps> Off we go! <gasps> So sorry. It's not your fault, Grumbles. It was an accident. What we do, Abby? I don't know. Without a dragon dance, it won't even feel like a Chinese New Year celebration. Abby! Fuzzies! <gasps> oh, this room is beautiful. Oh, dear. Was that a dragon costume? It was, but we messed up and wrecked it. I'm sorry we can't give you the perfect Chinese New Year celebration, Waipo. If you want a dragon dance, I bet you can figure out how to do one. Can you help? Of course! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I can't wait! Me neither. Welcome, welcome to my po. We love you so much, you know. Thanks for giving us the chance to Chinese New Year's dragon dance. Amazing, Abby! This is the most incredible Chinese New Year ever! Thank you, Waipo. Watch your feet, you can walk. Yes. <laughs> Why are we dancing? 
Your father and I were invited to a ball. A ball? A fancy dance with music and beautiful gowns. Fancy. When are you going? Actually, we're not. Why not? The ball's tonight, and the hotel's too busy. I have the best idea. Since Mom and Dad can't go to the ball, let's make them a ball right here in the hotel. Good idea! Balls are fun for everyone. Ready now, Abby? I don't know. Hmm. I've got it! A real ball has dancers that glide across the floor. Now it sounds, looks, and feels like a ball. Bang, bang, bang! your teeth? Dr. Anna, I didn't know I had a dentist appointment today. I, um, is that a new lab coat? The fuzzly spotter. Yes, I mean, I'm sorry. I can't have my checkup right now. I understand. Thanks. Come on, Bosley. Yeah! <laughs> Say they have a sore tooth? Jeff Jeff did, not me. Gotta go. It's so wiggly. Bosley wiggle too. <laughs> Are you ready now, Abby? Ah! Help! <gasps> Harriet, I'm sorry. I. I'll find you later. Okay. Come on, Bosley. Abby. Ah! I'm just finishing up with all this, and then it'll be your turn. Quick! No, no, no! Not that one! Ah! Elevator falling! Falling? It's okay. Deploy the parachute, Otis. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, parachute not working! I see the problem. The parachute lever is missing. Dr. Anna, do you have a toothbrush? <laughs> Bravest girl I've ever met. I might not be that brave. I'm afraid to have you check my wiggly tooth. What wiggly tooth? I only see a missing tooth. What? I can't believe it came out and I didn't even notice. I guess I am pretty brave. Hmm. And I'm brave enough to see the dentist. 